The textbooks today focus primarily on the outward achievements of George Washington Carver. In recognizing his great achievements, we must not miss who this man was. One of Carver's early accomplishments was just surviving childhood. A group of raiders came and took him and his mother. He loved the, the beauty of the earth. He believed that God would unlock the secrets of creation to people who asked for them, who looked for them. His race relations speech was himself. It was his example. He didn't have to say anything. These young men didn't understand, but when it was all said and done, he'd actually taught them about people learning to get along together and interracial harmony. And then the place erupted into applause. Carver had a knack about him, picking out young men that may have potential. He corresponded with these young men years and years and years. I really became like a father-son relationship in many, many ways. One of the easiest lessons that we can take away from George Washington Carver is the lesson that simply comes from inspiration. The story is inspirational. When he got to the thicket, he had the machete. He cut down so we all could travel and come behind him. Carver's commitment to edify his students with life wisdom was untiring. His earnest challenge to them, fear of something, is at the root of hate for others and hate within will eventually destroy the hater.